that was really tasty. Cranberry juice has some important nutrients in it, including vitamins A and C, and it's mostly made of water. Those are things that my body needs to keep me healthy. All living things, humans, animals, insects, and plants need nutrients and water to stay healthy. Most living things, like humans, have mouths in order to get their nutrients and their water into their bodies. Plants don't have mouths. How do they get nutrients and water into their bodies? Hmm. I have it. Roots. Let's look more closely at this really important plant part. You probably know that most plants have six main plant parts the roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds. All of those parts are really important, but the root might be the most important. After all, when a seed germinates, what's the first thing that comes out of the seed? That's right, the root. Why would that be? To answer that question, Let's think a little bit about what roots do for plants. Roots hold the plant in the soil. They absorb water and nutrients and move it to the stems and leaves of the plant. And they store sugars, which are the plant's main food. When the seed is germinating, it needs water first, and the root helps to supply that. When plants are growing in soil, we really might not think that much about the roots because they're underground. If I look here at this radish, I can see a little bit of the root coming out, but I really don't know what's going on until I pull it out. Let's take a look. Wow, there was quite a lot under there, huh? It's a little different when we grow plants hydroponically because we can see the roots. Let's take a look. In my hydroponic systems, I have different kinds of plants. I have some kale and a little arugula and some basil and some dill and a couple of other kinds of lettuce. So all of these plants have a similar kind of root. It's called a fibrous root. And you can see that they're kind of, they're just long and kind of hairy. They kind of look like hair. So those are all fibrous roots. Fibrous roots are really common in a lot of different kinds of plants. And the other kind of root that we normally see is called a tap root, and that would be like the radish that we saw out in the garden. When plants are small and young, their root systems are small as well. So we might see when we're starting to just plant our first seedlings into a hydroponic unit, we might see just one tiny little root coming out of the planting pod. But over time, that little root will find water and more roots will grow. And the more roots you have, the bigger your plants will get. These plants are pretty young, and so their root systems are not all that well developed yet. Let me show you some in another hydroponic system for much bigger plants. This is my arrow garden, and in this uh, arrow garden I have six different kinds of plants, and these actually have been growing for quite some time. I actually today just had a little bit of a salad from this unit, so that's why some of the plants look small. But if I look inside, we can see really well-developed root systems. Whoa! Look at all of those roots. That is a healthy root system for six little plants growing in my hydroponic unit. As long as the roots in a hydroponic system come in contact with the water, the plants will begin to grow. Remember, in hydroponics, we add the nutrients that the plants need to that water, making a nutrient solution that makes it possible for the plants to grow. After that, if we just add a little light, either from a sunny window, a greenhouse, or some grow lights, the plant has everything it needs. 